gets for us. Yeah. You're laughing. Yeah, kinda. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Favor and her husband. You are welcome to another episode in this video. <laughs> I don't I didn't want to say what I used to say. So yes, let's leave that. let's leave it at that. Before somebody will come by your tongue. Anyway, so if you are seeing our faces or my face for the very first time here on this channel, sorry, here on these YouTube streets, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notifications whenever I post new videos. And to my returning subscribers, I can't forget to tell you guys now. You know I love you, but I'll have, but <laughs> I know you I know you know, but I'll tell you still. I love you. Thank you for always supporting. Thank you for returning to watch my videos. So <sighs> I asked uh, a question because as you know, as you all possibly know, and I, I believe not everybody knows, we recently celebrated our third year anniversary, like the third year marriage. So yes, I still can't believe it is three, three years, years already. Like, How can yes, it was seeming like yesterday, but now here we are three years. So we thank God for the journey so far. We thank God for all that we have been enjoying, for his grace, his help, and all that we have been enjoying. So I asked the question, or I, I, I ask that you guys drop your questions on Facebook and on, on Instagram. And yeah, I got quite a lot of questions. So without much talk, because we have talked much already, let's get right to this video. Hey, so like I said, we are going to be answering your questions as much as we can and we will be as truthful as we can. As we can, yes. Like, see, what you see here, what you hear here, take it. Because we are giving it to you from the depth of our heart. <laughs> okay, but let's see yes, though. Yes, so we are going to like give it to you raw. Okay, so... um. One of the questions we got a lot was how marriage has been so far. And yeah, somebody said here, how is it going? Babe, how is it going? Great. Great. He's a man of few words. <laughs> so he just said great. Great. Yeah, okay. actually it's been great. The Lord has really been helping us. It's been it's been a smooth sail. Yeah, it has. It's it has. been a smooth sail and we are grateful to God because you know, we know that it is not just what we know or what we think we are applying yeah there are a lot of people that actually still know more than we do and they still have challenges us, yeah. yes so it, it's it's just cause chris it's just cause chris and we're enjoying it we have embraced it okay so another question says do you ever sit down and miss you sometimes i guess maybe directed to me but i think i'll ask you do you ever sit down and miss who you used to be before marriage Mm, who I used to be, uh, it hasn't really changed much. It hasn't really changed much, so I can't say I missed who I used to be. You understand? Just that like this time around, you have to, even when you're married, you have to you have more commitments. You have to be more responsible and all. And but those things are actually good. So I'm not really. There's nothing to miss. There's nothing to miss. When you look at what you have, what are you missing? You miss your lonely days or what? <laughs> and I wanted to miss at all. <laughs> That's the thing now. Okay, for me, same thing. I'm not really, I, I don't really miss anything because that is why you are told to know, know yourself before you go into marriage. That way, like, does it, mean, does it mean that you don't change? Every year you change as a person, but then the core things about you. Yes, that's our little <laughs> lady. Looking like, one old woman. Like she's the boss. <laughs> like she's the boss. Nice. <laughs> and you think it's one one other person working. But let's let let us just ignore her. You understand? So that we'll give you this content. Okay, that's what I was saying. That's why you're told to know yourself, find out about you, find out about your dreams and all before you get married. In that way, uh the core things about you don't get to change. So have we have we really changed? 
not much the yes we change as human beings change but the main things about us have not really yes, changed yes. okay so so we got a lot of questions also like this and the person saying how can one stay married like avoid breakups and divorce well, well well you have to marry your friend that's important you have to marry according to the will of god you have to marry your friend and uh, you have to because even with those you still have to marriage is still work yeah you still have to work towards it you have to go in with the mindset that this is this is your property and you have to keep it no matter what and it's for the two parties not for one person one if, when it is just one person that's thinking like that there will be a problem but when the two people are mature and they know that they are getting into something that doesn't have any that, that shouldn't have any any end that's and you marry somebody that you know that this person is your friend this person is somebody you love uh, you, at least you can avoid breakups and all those divorce and all those things at least from, uh, from your own uh, work then god will do the rest for you yeah i actually i actually stand with him um marriage is a two-way street it's not something only one person can do at all so it's not about and most times people think it's about just what they do what you do is really important Mm -hmm. But make sure that the center of that marriage is Christ. Yes. Once the center of that marriage is Christ, I don't think, in fact, not I don't think, I know for a fact that that marriage is, is, is going to be a strong one because the foundation it's is strong. Really strong. Yeah. So the next question says, what are the chances you will have a good marriage free from divorce? I think it's, it basically it's the, the same, same thing. thing. The same thing. Basically the same thing. Did you receive any confirmation from God about your hobby before marriage? Okay, person, we've talked about this in our How We Met video. So I'll link it in the description box, box and up above here. Yeah, so that you can watch it if you have not watched it. Okay. So somebody, somebody else said, um, no marriage is without a challenge. True or false? You're very true very true no matter what because this as this actually to people that grew up in different setups different mindset different everything and they come together and so despite the friendship despite the love there must be some things that those that that, two, that the two of them will not really agree mm -hmm. upon at sometimes uh, like my parents used to tell me in their own time that a marriage was dissolved because of toothpaste toothpaste the wife was like you should press it from under the man doesn't care, just like my kind of person. I grab the piece and I press it anywhere that anyway. I see. But the but woman was. I actually thought uh, so they were really like. I thought they were not. They were stories that were not real. Mm -hmm. It was real. So maybe the person that was maybe I believe it, it should be the wife because the man doesn't care whether it's from the top or from the bottom or from this middle or anywhere. But maybe the woman couldn't understand. She couldn't every day. Maybe when he's pressing it, she'll be boiling inside. I mean, uh, but of course there will be other things just not that yeah just there were already maybe. cracks and then this one maybe was like the last straw that now brought the comments back so there will definitely be things that you will not agree on some things some decisions some lifestyle pattern and stuff but definitely there must be challenges in marriage that's just the truth true I let's even take for example your siblings that we are raised by the same, you people were raised by the same parents, the same environment, the same everything. Have, you still have, have issues, issues with them. How much more somebody that that was raised by totally different people? Yes. And so in some cases, this person was raised in one country. The other person like different values and all. Yes. <laughs> so there definitely will be challenges. Yes. But the thing is, a lot of people let the challenges swallow them. Don't let the challenges swallow you. Understand that this is this it is us against this thing and not two of us against each other. If yes. you have it at the back of your mind, you would know that that you're a team, that you're not fighting each other. It's it's two of us against the world, like they would say. It's two of you against whatever whatever challenge it is. And that's it. Okay, so somebody else said, what was the most surprising moment you've experienced in your marriage? I'll ask you. Surprising? Surprising moment you've had. I don't know. You don't know? Nah. Surprising moments. Hmm? Mm, nothing surprising. Nothing surprising. Ah. No, I, nah. can't, I can't put my fingers on any. There's nothing, nothing surprising. Oh. So the next question says, um, 
how did you meet each other we got a lot of um quite a number of questions that were like this yes. like i said we have made a how we met video so yes. i'll like i said before i'll link it in the description box below and here above here somebody else said hi what do you do when he is angry or moody what do i do when he's angry or moody okay so i basically just give him space because sometimes it's just space. it's not like it even happens it's it's a rare thing to happen mm -hmm. but if it happens if it happens it's just giving space letting cool off so what do you do when i'm moody or angry mm, i'll keep asking to know what the problem is mm -hmm. i'll keep asking yeah, and I'll sometimes she may not say but i'll keep asking and until, I'll, until i out. get to the root of whatever it is <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. he doesn't just let off until i say what it is he's not going to leave it be but that is how it's actually supposed to be because sometimes you let these small things drive um a wedge in mm -hmm. between the couple and it's not nice <laughs> well i'm learning to be more open thanks to marriage what is known the second child oh, okay we mm -hmm. have <laughs> I have made a video with my second child, so I also link it, link it in, in the description box box below and here, so that you get to watch it and find out how. Everything that you need to know, yeah. Yeah. So somebody has asked, uh, "How do you cope with pressures that comes with being a wife?" Okay, that's to me. How do I cope with pressures that come with being a wife? Okay. I don't really get pressure from my parents, from my in-laws, from my husband. Like, I'm just grateful to God for the kind of family I come from and the kind of family I am in. Because I have heard a lot of people talk about their in-laws and trust me, it is not, <laughs> it is not beans. But I am thankful to God that I am married into a peaceful family. I don't put pressure on you for anything, for any reason. So yeah, <laughs> there's no pressure on me. But societal pressure, still, I don't let see your mental health. Eh? That one, number one is your relationship with God. Because see, what, one thing I've realized, when you get married, you that is when you actually know where you stand with God. Marriage opens your eye, the your level of growth in your spiritual life. Marriage opens your eye, clearly. So grow spiritually, grow mentally mentally please grow mentally and get to know who you are know yourself before you expect somebody else to know you in knowing yourself you you are able to like um how do i put it if you know yourself there are some things that that you will not settle for That's when true. it comes to marriage there are some things you, there are some there are some people you will not settle for because you know yourself because you know who God has called you to be you know where you are going in life you can't just settle for anybody so please know yourself know God and know why He has placed you here that way you make a really informed choice when it comes to marriage. It's true. Okay, so somebody else asked, how do you handle? Oh, sorry. How do you guys keep up? with your conversation and how do you keep the vibes flowing do you get bored no we don't get bored how do we keep the conversation going how do you keep the vibes going i know who i married he know he knows who he married we were first friends that's why it's good to marry your friend if you know how you can just with your friend hours on end on everything on everything that's how it's supposed to be with your husband or with your wife it's true so because we are friends we talk about anything and everything and about nothing <laughs> <laughs> some some useless things we talk about it <laughs> as uh, any no matter how little it is we talk about it so we have a lot of things to discuss so if you go out to meet somebody you talk and about you know it. women like apple well, well. of course mm -hmm. hello so even if, when i don't know what to talk about and definitely there will be things to talk about from my end <laughs> yes <laughs> just ask how was your day? I'm mm. going to download you with juice. <laughs> that is all you need. You don't need any other thing. <laughs> I think many guys can relate. I think I heard TDJ say his wife asked, asked him, How was your day? He said, Fine. And then he asked the wife, How was your day? Mm -hmm. Story started. Yeah, of course. That is our way. You don't mm -hmm. expect to hear fine. No. <laughs> you will hear from morning to night what happened. 
Okay, so another person says, how is marriage? Because I'm scared to enter. Okay. Marriage is great. Marriage is a perfect institution set up by God. Just that human beings going into the marriage are not perfect. So you need to understand first that, that you're not perfect. So you, you, since you know you're not perfect, you shouldn't expect the other yeah, person to be perfect. perfect. So don't be afraid to enter it. Enter it uh, in faith. And make sure that you have, uh, whatever you are building with the person is, be, is being built on Christ. Anything built on Christ will not crumble. So build your marriage on all your future, in fact, whatever relationship you have. Build it on marriage. Marriage is Build it on Christ. On Christ, yes. <laughs> marriage is sweet. Trust me. Marriage is sweet. It's interesting when you're with the right person. No, no plenty talk. It's a beautiful marriage. <laughs> okay. Okay, somebody else said I say somebody is somebody else said. I'm looking for husband though. I want to marry at 25, but no man on ground yet. Sister, please. This is desperation speaking. And when you are desperate, you settle for the barest minimum. You settle for something that is not yours. You settle for, for somebody that is not worth your time. True. So please, don't be desperate. Know that it will happen. I know some people will say, hey, you are saying this thing because you are married. I'm not saying it because I am married. I'm, not saying, I'm saying it because it is the truth. Take the, enjoy your single days. Enjoy the days that you have it just you have your time just to yourself that you can grow in any area that you want to grow in because once you enter inside marriage, you don't you don't it, your time is not only your time, you have to share that time. When children come, oh you have to share it into five. Mm -hmm. And then that is if if possible, the five in that five you might not even find one for yourself. So take enjoy this single moment, enjoy it, live your best life, and trust me, the best life is being